Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to a job number two, the Adam Josh Oral Brog, available at www.adamjosh.com. I'm shamelessly self-promoting it because nobody else will. So uh, this is a, a brog that I that I finished and wrote up called the Catheter Diaries, and uh, I figure for. Um, the audio brog, uh, I would just read these, you know, because it's one thing to read it on the website, um, and it's another completely to have, you know, the person who's writing the things on the website read it out to you and see their facial expressions and body language and intonation because, uh, you know, as you are probably well aware, people uh, sometimes take you the wrong way. So here we go. <clears throat> the catheter diaries. I wrote this about 10 minutes ago. Peeing the proper way is better than peeing through a catheter. Also, every single day that you can say that you don't have a catheter shoved up your urethra is a good day. These two things I'm more certain of now than I ever have be been before in my entire life. I had many a nurse muse, you must be the youngest person we've ever seen need a catheter in here. I didn't see the humor in it at first. Looking back in hindsight, I should have done a few things differently. One, when the overwhelming toothache set in, I should have done something better than overdose on Advil. When the Advil didn't work, I should have taken a different course of action as opposed to taking more Advil. Three, when taking more Advil didn't work, I shouldn't have gone out and got prescriptions filled for narcotic pain relievers. Four, I should have found a dentist that worked weekends instead of assuming that no one would be able to help me until Monday, thus avoiding all the above nonsense. Five, I should, have sooner, I should have sooner realized that when you haven't eaten or peed in three days, something's wrong. <laughs> Six, when I started getting dizzy and found myself unable to form sentences or proper thought, I shouldn't have ascribed it all to the over-self medication. I should have realized that my kidneys were failing. And so there you have it. All the things that if I could do differently, I would. Live and learn, right? So I was hospitalized for a week under watch and with constant reminder that if I took a turn for the worse, I would be on kidney dialysis. I was also reminded a few times that if I hadn't clued in to get to the hospital early, earlier, that I probably wouldn't have lived through another night. Super. This is now another near-death experience. This is now near-death experience number three in my 28 years. Call me crazy, but hospitals can be fun. I made the best of it. It's sort of all blurred by bad food, lots of sleep, crazy dreams, hallucinations, Dr. Jewish, interesting nurses, and patients all on the various floors and rooms I was carted around to. But best of all, the feeling of that first whiz when the catheter was finally taken out five days ago now. Friends, every day that you don't have a catheter shoved up your penis is a good day. First thing I did when I got back was toss out my entire medicine cabinet. Drastic? Nah, you don't know me. That's uh, the Catheter Diaries, as read by Adam Josh. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for watching another A Job, the Adam Josh Oral Brog, oral brog only from AdamJosh.com. Tell your friends, get a job. <laughs>